Scientists just discovered a UFO leaving Earth orbit. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Kenneth Arnold was flying his plane over Mount Rainier in Lewis County in the U.S. state Washington on June 24, 1947, on a Damn. bright morning with pure blue skies. He was taken aback when he noticed nine brilliant blue-white objects flying in a V pattern. He calculated. I feel like I heard the story, but let's see. Their speed at 1,700 miles or 2,735 kilometers per hour, and compared their motions to a saucer if you skipped it across the sea. Days after Arnold's account was released, at least 20 witnesses from more than a dozen dispersed locales claimed to have seen the same objects. We mm. will cover a lot of such stuff. So stick to the video if Damn, you- Damn, 20? So we're not just talking one guy, right? And here's the thing. Whenever someone comes out and tells you that they have seen something, it could be their imagination or maybe they're lying. But when you have more than one guy, in this case 20, saying the same thing, then that's a little bit suspect. Thoughts? You want to hear about everything. Following up on what we said in the introduction, a wave of similar sightings occurred in the wake of that episode, which also happened to be the beginning of the Cold War between the US and the Soviet Union. They were referred to as unidentified flying objects, UFOs, and were thought to be alien objects, ghosts, spirits, phantoms, or other paranormal occurrences. Bruh. Now, the thing with UFO is that, yeah, I'm a 100% believer that aliens exist, right? Where there is no way we're the only, only one. And when you even look at animals, when you look at sea life, when you look at just birds that are flying around, in a way, they're just way too different compared to us, right? So when you actually ex see other life form, and when you can, when you know how big I should say nobody really knows how big space is, but you know what I mean, it's just massive. I refuse to believe that that hole is completely empty. There is no way, absolutely no way at all. No way at all, but UFOs, when you talk about them, instantly you're thinking about aliens. I do that too, I believe that those are alien crafts, but objectively speaking, UFOs could be anything, right? Like there might be, it's like a very touchy subject for some people but we definitely need more on this one. In addition to this, 75 years later, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has taken an interest in the phenomenon, which has received some skepticism and a NASA short for not a straight answer. From the mainstream scientific community, NASA. Not a straight answer. Additionally, a panel to look into unusual aerial phenomenon, UAP, which Damn. includes UFOs, has been appointed by a US federal government agency. Recently, Bruh. Thomas Zerbichin, the Associate Administrator for Science at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C., told reporters that the study will focus on identifying available data, how to best collect future data, and how NASA can use the data to move the scientific understanding. Wrong. Wrong. NASA just stands for not a straight answer. They will never tell us everything. ...of UAPs forward. The NASA official defended such a study, saying the agency's research priorities span the quest for extraterrestrial life, looking into enigmatic cosmic objects and phenomena, and aiding in the safety and security of American airplanes. The Bruh. Now, I got a question, right? And this is something that you gotta think about as well. Because the planet has been here for billions and billions of years. There are paintings from so long ago that shows there were flying objects in the skies so that tells us that they have been here for a long time or maybe let's just say right maybe those people were really imaginative right and that was just they were just running their imagination wild and they came up with that but i like to differ i beg to differ i think that they they knew what was happening and they have probably encountered them they have they have seen them and they were visiting us when i say they i mean aliens et right but the thing here is that if they were hostile we would have already been under attack now i do believe that just like how there are good humans just like how there are bad humans just like how there are evil people good people i, I do like to i would like to believe that there are surely et out there that is good and evil right they're probably like us in some ways shape or form probably not in every way but i would like to believe that there would be some that are hostile there are some that are bad but so far thankfully I, the earth has not been attacked and I would like to believe that they are good because if they were not this planet would have been long gone. Study will start later this year and cost $100,000.
As the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group, a new intelligence organization to look into unexplained objects that could endanger U.S. airspace was established in 2021, according to a Pentagon announcement. In a way, that's kind of like a genuine concern for U.S. and like any any government out there, any country's government, because like if you're seeing uh, like a UFO flying, unidentified object flying over, it's a natural concern, and especially if it's like moving like crazy, then you need to figure out fast what this is all about. Is this hostile? Is it not? So I do, on certain extent, I believe them when they are like, okay, we gotta figure out if that is uh, a threat to us or not. Understandable. Then, a new group known as Unusual Movement Patterns was created. This was established immediately after the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, UAPTF a division of the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence, released a report stating it had been unable to identify 143 objects seen in U.S. airspace between 2004 and 2021. According to the research, 18 of these exhibited peculiar movement or flight characteristics. A classified annexure to the report that was given to the House and Senate Intelligence Committees stated that some of the objects had produced radio frequency radiation that U.S. military aircraft had been able to detect and process. To assess whether the sightings represented breakthrough technology, it was advised that the phenomenon needed more investigation. Mm. And this is why we believe certain things are leaving and entering Earth on regular basis, and that's not it, because, earlier, the U.S. Department of Defense had established several UAP research initiatives to comprehend the phenomenon for reasons of national security. National security, but on a real note though, do you think that in the next 50 years we're gonna have like a full-blown reveal? Or do you think that that's just like impossible, not gonna happen, it's probably never gonna happen, or you think that it's gonna happen, but 50 years is just too fast. It's gonna happen like maybe 100 years, 200 years from now. When do you think that's gonna happen? Because when you really look at how things are progressing, when you look at what the government is doing, they're slowly but surely spoon feeding the 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 people the population and they're telling us yeah ufos are real in fact they confirmed it they also confirmed that they have captured unearthly vehicles and right now we're in that they are reverse engineering it and they are putting a lot more dollars in they're putting they're getting task force for for this as well and we recently heard not not long ago that they were also having a special program for having i believe trump when he was uh in office he actually made like he said that we i'm probably paraphrasing probably not going to be able to get the exact quote but he said that we need people uh, u.s soldiers in space as well something like a space division right so a lot of things are happening behind the scenes and it's absolutely wild they're spoon feeding us and i would like to believe that it, it's gonna happen right in 10 years from now the world would be completely different 50 years, I mean, I don't think we would be able to recognize our planet if we are still here, we're still alive, the way the technology is going, right? Like, it's going to be massively different. The first ones, such as the Project Signs and Project Grudge, were established in the 1940s and 1950s to gather and assess UFO data and allay public concerns. However, after years of study, they advised the National Security Council to disprove USO accounts and implement a program of public education to reassure people that there was no supporting documentation for such encounters. Public, you're wrong! wrong. Since then, the matter has been placed on hold by both the space agencies and the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, a US spy agency that was looking into the phenomenon on its own. Bruh. But the newfound interest of NASA and the Pentagon in investigating UFOs has renewed interest in these unexplained sightings. Michael Wall, a space writer with Space.com, believes that NASA's interest in UFOs in 2022 means there has been an attempt to make this data-poor field worthy of scientific investigation and analysis to demystify UAPs. According to Megan Bartels, another senior writer at Space.com, Scientists may have detected radio emissions from a planet orbiting a star beyond our sun for the first time. Oh, wow. She said the astronomers behind the new research had used a radio telescope in the Netherlands to study three different stars known as host exoplanets. These are planets that orbit around other stars. 
In addition Damn. to author Ted Blowicher, who in the mid-60s compiled a detailed chronology of more than 850 sightings in 90 Oof. cities in the US and Canada. 850? That is wild, bro. And that is just like them confirming stuff, right? There's probably more. And you gotta factor in other other countries. You gotta factor in the civilians. You gotta factor in all the people that see stuff in the sky. And another thing here is that what if... This is like a hypothetical. Because a lot of people bring up this, right? And some of you will as well. That if the ET are this strong, right? Because if they can make those uh, all kind of maneuvers in the skies that we cannot, that probably means they are very technological advance and i don't disagree even i feel that way too but what if they're only technological advance in terms of hey controlling the gravity and just moving in a way where it's just impossible for us to do and that's like the only thing that they're good at Bruh. maybe their planet uh, where they come from maybe they have a thing that actually exists just like how oil exists on our planet maybe they have something like that that exist on their planet that they use that's just like us using maybe fuel for our cars Bruh. just a thought i know i know crazy right and they're probably maybe not even that advanced they're just advanced of in terms of just moving in the sky just like that just some uh, food for thought Eddie was convinced that far from being a nonsense program the ufo program is perhaps the outstanding scientific problem confronting mankind Mankind. His exact words was that he believed we must fundamentally reorient scientific attitudes towards this steadily expanding body of UFO reports and that we must enlist the assistance of truly top-notch scientific talent in the challenging task of bringing ultimate order out of the chaos into which the subject has been thrown after mm. 20 years of ridicule. He brought up the story of Dr. M. K. Lisey, a junior intern at the Pennsylvania Hospital for Mental Diseases in Philadelphia, who claimed to have witnessed a moderately fast-moving, dark, spherical object flying beneath the clouds. A check with various agencies disclosed that no balloons had been released over the area at the time. Nor was it, it wrong. wrong. It's just a Chinese lantern. It's just a. It's just a balloon. How many times have we heard that? Damn. Possible to confuse the object with any kind of known flying object. And this clearly states that there is something fishy happening around us, and governments are not telling us about that. Yeah. Have you personally spotted anything like this? I I have not, but have you though? In addition, mentioning how these things typically appear. Blocher claims that based on a variety of eyewitness testimonies, the objects being sighted were largely circular, like disc-shaped, appeared to flutter and reflect the sun, and were flying between 20,000 and 30,000 feet in the air. They occasionally flew in formation, otherwise they acted independently. They moved erratically, strong and independent, strong and independent, at times seeming to produce short bursts of something like vapor trails. Whatever the findings of science, UFOs, and aliens visiting Earth have been the theme of numerous space fiction books and films since the 1950s, becoming a significant international cultural phenomenon. Mm. Let me add another point. Here recently, there was an article posted on BBC with the title that astronomers spent decades looking for objects from outside our own solar system. Then two arrived at once. When should we expect the next one? and what can Damn. they teach us? And talking about that incident, it emerged from the celestial void in October 2017, which was a tiny bright speck on the telescope at Halikala Observatory in Hawaii. The item, which was believed to have come from the direction of Vega, an extraterrestrial star located 147 trillion miles, 237 Damn. trillion What? I don't think anyone can compute these numbers, bruh. Kilometers distant was hurtling through space at a speed of 57,000 miles per hour, 90,000 kilometers per hour. By the time it was discovered, it had already sped by our own sun, executed a smooth hairpin turn, and was hurtling off in a different direction. It may have resembled an extended cigar, or may have taken the shape of an uncannily spaceship-like disc. It quickly became That's apparent fast. that our Moa Moa was adequately weird for an That's like Fast and Furious 10,000 right there, bruh. Bruh. An object with such extraterrestrial origin. Scientists were particularly fixated on two things. The first was its enigmatic acceleration away from the sun, which was difficult to explain in light of numerous hypotheses regarding its possible composition. 
The second was its unusual shape, which was 10 times longer than it was wide, according to some estimations. The most elongated known space objects, like our Muamua, were three times longer than they I, were. I, it's kind of bizarre, right? Because normally whenever they see something, I'm not sure if you guys ever heard about that satellite in the sky that, or in the space actually that is considered like alien. Look into that, like alien satellite, just YouTube it or whatever, or maybe I'll make a video in the future on that. It's very bizarre as to why we don't hear about that officially because that genuinely people have concerns People in the know, they think that that is alien because it's not ours and that is kind of like spying on the humans for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years, right? But when we see Oumuamua, which I personally don't think that was a UFO, I just think that was a rock. It could be anything, right? Like, I gotta preface this by saying that I, I don't know. You don't know, we don't know, okay? We just believe, and, and that's pretty much it. But I would like to believe that that was just a space rock. Maybe it was a genuine UFO, but it's like looking like a rock and they are the ones saying that yo what if that's a ufo which is kind of like okay understandable and some are even saying it's indeed a ufo but uh like damn man how do you prove that but what about the, the the ufo satellite the alien satellite that's in the space what about that can we get more info on that or wide but that wasn't the first event either also along with this, how can we not add that according to a 1996 Gallup poll, 70% of Americans thought that the government was not disclosing all of its knowledge concerning UFOs or extraterrestrial life. W, w civilians, W people, yeah, they're definitely hiding, man. Hope that the riddle will be solved and that humanity will learn more about the mysteries of the cosmos yep. is given by the scientific community's renewed... Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen, subscribe, and I will see you right there. Massive video.